Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Josh here. I hope you're doing well. Today I've got a very cool app to show you. Now, if you've ever used Apple's Spotlight app, so that's the default um, Spotlight app on your Mac where you search for different apps, you launch your apps, you search for documents, you do quick math calculations and all of that. If you've ever used that and you found that to be a bit limited, you know, it does just doesn't do enough well. <laughs> I've got a really cool thing to show you today. Now, I'm going to be talking about an app called Raycast. And this app, it takes your spotlight to the next level. I mean, guys, this app has completely replaced spotlight for me because it's just so powerful. Let's dive right in. So I'm going to go over to my Mac over here and show you. Now, Raycast is an app available on raycast.com. I'll put the link in the description below. Now, this is a completely free app. So to download it, all you need to do is type in your email address, click on download. It's It supports pretty much most Macs out there. It supports the new M1 Macs and it also supports the older generation Intel based Macs as well. So guys, this, just a quick uh, demonstration video of what it does, it allows you to run different commands. So how this differentiates itself from the Spotlight app that you get on all Macs is that you're actually able to deep dive into the various apps and execute commands within those apps. So for example, take your calendar. On Spotlight, all you can do is just launch your calendar, right? But in this, with Raycast, you can actually check your schedule. So it pulls up your day's schedule. Um, it, you can query your your system and go, hey, mute my Mac. So you just type in mute and it mutes your, your, your volume. You can type volume up, volume down. You, you can do window management. You can click on a wind on an app and type into Raycast, move this to bottom half, you know, top half two thirds, you can do all that cool stuff. And plus you can use this with third party apps as well. So for example, Zoom, most of us are stuck at home due to the lockdown, the pandemic, whatever. And we're first to use Zoom for work, school, whatever the case is. Now, what this allows you to do is you can schedule a meeting, join a meeting, ETC, just through Raycast. It's very powerful stuff. And it the beauty of this is that it's, it allows you to customize um, Raycast almost infinitely so you can add more commands they've got pages I'll show you this later in the video how to get more commands how, how to get pre-built commands and also they also have documentation on how to write your own commands so the possibilities are quite literally endless right so let's dive right in so um, if you I've already downloaded this so if you notice on my menu bar up here they've got this cool little icon so that's the Raycast app so to open it you can either use the shortcut option space or you can open it from here so I'll just open it from here and then it go, it, it, you're, you're asked to search for apps and commands so now the best thing about this is you can use it the usual way you can just you know type in calendar whoops <laughs> calendar and you can open the calendar app but what, where's the fun in that that's that's the same thing you can do with the Apple spotlight right now what I want to do is actually check my schedule so let's see schedule boom and it actually tells me my schedule that's really cool guys very cool um, you can use this you can actually scroll down and see some suggestions various commands you can you, you can try out like create Google document create Google form change log well th these are recast specific so it actually tells you the name of the app that command belongs to right next to it so you, you can actually see this it, it's very very cool stuff um you can actually scroll all the way down and you can see some of the other stuff you can do with your system you can type in set volume to zero percent and it would actually do that so once you type once you hit enter your volume is muted you can raise your volume to 25 percent 100 percent whatever the case is it's really handy stuff um, and you find yourself using this more and more and more because you don't need to move your mouse off of what you're doing you can just type in you know hold down alt and hit the space bar sorry not alt option we're not on windows option space bar and it brings this little window up and you can type in what you want to do this is really cool by the way the window management you get this for free you know normally you'd have to pay a lot to get an app that does window management for you because on the mac the window management isn't that powerful it's not as cool as windows where you can snap windows to the side and really arrange things however you want but this actually does that for you for free as a bonus which is incredible now uh enough talk Th these are you know so many things you can do you can dive in 
run various commands now let me show you how to add to actually access the various commands you've got so now if we type with if we click away from that and go over to the menu open recast menu and then click on preferences i'll just drag this window over here you can actually see the various extensions um, that are available to you so with this you can actually uh, click on if you look at the column that says alias you can assign various commands or um, uh, you can assign various commands or apps aliases so you can give them a short form so if you don't want to type in uh, schedule meeting or or you know mute volume to sorry set volume to zero or whatever you can just put a, a, a shorter word there and it would it would launch that next time you next time you, you you type that out so it's it's really cool guys very cool stuff now this is what i was talking about earlier you get this window management for free so you can actually just type in bottom half bottom left quarter bottom right quarter center and it would position your window now i can't really show you this because my monitor is too big so it wouldn't it wouldn't capture it properly on screen but i'll try to do as best as i can so let me close this this by the way is where you'd add more extensions but again at the end of this video i'll show you where to get more extensions um and commands uh, for this now if i move my window over here so you can see now as you can see my window is kind of like floating on my desktop now if i launched um recast and i went uh top half do you see that bang immediately repositions my window to the top half now if i did this again and i went um right right half look at that takes off the right half of my screen now i've got a very big monitor so it's it probably displays as too big but you, you can see how powerful that is and you get this for free because normally you'd have to pay for an app like magnet or you know i think better window tool or some other apps out there that will charge you a lot of money to give you that same functionality but this you get for free very quick very easy you don't have to go over to your menu bar and start clicking through things you can just launch those commands it's so cool guys now as promised i'm going to show you where to get more commands from so i'll put the link in the description below but you have to go over to their github page to uh, get more commands now their github page does have loads of information about installation about you know troubleshooting if you'd like to write your own commands this is where you need to come to read the documentation on how to do so so it's 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 very detailed and very well supported now where we're actually interested in is Raycast script commands. So this is where you see loads of commands that are available already. Now you can write yours or you can get some sample ones as well. So this is very cool guys. Now you can see for various apps, they've got some already where you can actually just get some or you can even search for more out there. And if you've got apps that aren't present on this, uh, on this list, that you'd like to uh, maybe spend some time to read through documentation and learn how it works. Again, it's very straightforward. You don't need to be super uh, um, techy to do this. Just follow the documentation. They will, t they will tell you what to do step by step uh, over on the page. Again, the link in the description below. And once you do that, you'll be able to add more commands to this and unlock the true power of your Mac. Now, this guys is super cool. It's free, so I would advise you to take advantage while it's still free i can't imagine this being free for too long so get get on this quickly if you aren't already and um yeah that that's that's it so um well guys that's been it guys i hope you enjoyed that video i try to keep it as short as i can if you want me to do a more deep dive on how to add new uh, extensions commands possibly how to write your own commands or if you've got specific apps that you'd like me to try out with this leave your comments in the comment section below and i'll get to it as well and of course you can find the links to recast and the various script commands and documentation in the description box below so guys that's been it i hope you enjoyed and um yeah we are two subscribers away two subscribers away from hitting 500 incredible stuff i never thought we'll get to this point so i thank you all for your support if you aren't subscribed already make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you know when i go live next time with another video because youtube for some reason won't tell you right so it is what it is anyway guys that's me i hope you have a fantastic day until next time as usual you know what it is be fantastic see you around